welcome back hearty welcome to you let us look at this interesting example we have been given a b c d a parallelogram we have to prove that sum of squares of the diagonals of a parallelogram is equal to sum of squares of the corresponding sides of a parallelogram or all the sides of a parallelogram so to prove that we have taken a parallelogram a b c d with the diagonals a c and b d respectively what we have to prove in this diagram we have to prove that ac square plus bd square equal to ab square plus bc square plus cd square plus da square now what approach to solve this problem we know that parallel are converted into a rectangle and rectangle will have all the angles as 90 degrees all interior angles and once 90 degrees we should be able to use pythagoras theorem and when we use pythagoras theorem we make sure that ac bd are hypotenuse there so that we should be able to solve this so let's go ahead and try to convert this parallelogram into a rectangle so we have converted the given parallelogram into a rectangle what we did is very simple we extended the dc so that we have a 90 degrees we also extended ba so that we have a 90 degrees we got the rectangle so let's let me put down some values here we know that opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal so can i go ahead and write down that ab is equal to x and CD is also equal to X because they are we know that opposite sides of parallelogram are equal similarly ADBC are equal so let me put down their Y and I'll also put down here Y okay fine now this rectangle is of side DC I have to put some uh, labels here so let me do A B C D let us say this is E and this is F okay fine so we have a b c d e f now e b d f is a rectangle so we know that in rectangle opposite sides are equal so let me just try and say that this is equal to distance d c f is d so obviously e a is also d you should be okay with that because in rectangle opposite sides are equal so if x is there remaining is d on the other side also x is there remaining should be d now what is left out is ed and bf we will say that the altitudes are equal to h we know that between two parallel lines the height is always the same so let us say that's equal to h and h so we did all the groundwork now it should be pretty easy with two steps we can easily prove that ac square plus bd square equal to ab square plus bc square plus cd square plus da square now how will we do that if you remember i said that we need ac square that means i want to use pythagoras theorem here so let me just put down those 90 degrees so that we are little bit clear about what we are doing okay so where is where is a c square and where is b d square first i will take b d square now let me write down the triangle which i am considering i am considering the triangle b d f triangle b d f i can certainly apply pythagoras theorem because angle b f d is 90 degrees and i said that we want to have b d square plus a c square so i want it to be hypotenuse b d square equal to b f square plus in triangle b d f can i say in triangle b d f if i apply pythagoras theorem i get b d square is equal to b f square plus f d square b f square Oh, that's my mistake b f square plus f d square now let's try to use the variables whatever we have used b f is h can I say h square plus d f square that's nothing but x plus d whole square okay now let's go to the triangle where I have a c as hypotenuse where is a c is hypotenuse I have a c hypotenuse here so if I want to have AC as hypotenuse, then I have to drop a perpendicular. So let me just do that. I will drop a perpendicular. Now this is also 90 degrees. 
ok so let me write down in triangle we need a name for this so I'll put a name let us say this is G ok we'll write down in triangle AGC A G C we have AC square equal to AG square plus GC square now we know that AG is equal to ED equal to BF so this is also equal to H so can I say AG square is H square plus GC square what is GC GC is nothing but DC minus DG we know that DC equal to X can I write down here this part is equal to X out of that you are subtracting this part that means GC equal to DC minus DG which is nothing but X minus T you should be okay with that I think okay fine so this is what we have now let's go ahead and simplify that so we'll write down our next step is we need AC square plus BD square so we'll write down AC square plus BD square equal to 2H square plus a plus b whole square plus a minus b whole square gives me 2 into a square plus b square so can I write down 2x square plus 2d square we have that formula a plus b whole square plus a minus b whole square is 2 into a square plus b square okay now 2x square is fine with me what is 2h square plus 2d square for that I will write down 2 into h square plus d square now if you look at the triangle if you look at the triangle BCF can I write down here triangle BCF if you apply Pythagoras theorem you know that H square plus D square equal to Y square so can I come back and change it as 2X square plus 2Y square now that's nothing but equal to X square plus Y square plus X square plus Y square so that's nothing but equal to our last step that is a B square plus B C square plus C D square plus D A square so that's one interesting example which we can solve in so many ways but I thought this should be a simpler solution and you should be able to understand it very easily let me just summarize this before we close this we have been given a parallelogram we have to prove that sum of squares of the diagonal is equal to sum of squares of the sides of a parallelogram so what is the logic approach we are using the approach we are using is we are trying to convert the parallelogram into a rectangle because rectangle gives me 90 degrees and that gives me Pythagoras theorem so the idea is to convert this parallelogram ABCD we have converted that into a rectangle EBFD in such a way that we we have taken ACBD as hypotenuse of the respective triangles and we try to form the Pythagoras apply the Pythagoras theorem and get the equation so we know that BD square equal to BF square plus DF square similarly AC square equal to AG square plus GC square now we just substitute the values variables whatever we have just kept there for our convenience we just use that we are able to prove that AC square plus BD square equal to AB square plus BC square plus CD square plus DA square so thanks for your time and support. I'll catch you once again with another interesting example. Thanks again. Bye for now.